Meanwhile, the Motor Transport and Traffic Directorate of the Ghana Police Service has deployed more than 3,000 intelligence surveillance cameras in a bid to crack down on dangerous driving. Now, these devices will be positioned at major intersections, strategic locations, and government installations to monitor and capture motorists who drive recklessly. So far, the center has captured 200 road offenders who are being prosecuted. Hannah Odame took a tour of the center and has filed this report. Center has in two weeks captured 200 road offenders. These people had parked on unauthorized places, jumped red lights, and engaged in overspeeding, among others. Armed robbers will also be caught because the cameras are on virtually every major road in the country. I notice an offender. Mm -hmm. He's not supposed to park on the road. This is them that's unauthorized park. I get a video of the area. Zoom. Get the cars on. And then take pictures of it. The pictures have been taken. There's a software being embedded in a camera, which is called EMPR, Automatic Number Plate Recognition. It takes a shot of the number plate registration. That's how evidence is being captured. Then what do you do with it after? So after that, it's been, let me say, piled up. And then at the end of the day, it's been sent to our senior officers and then they are being contacted for prosecution. Supervisor at the centre, Chief Superintendent Joseph Zanu believes this will help instill discipline and also reduce the carnage on the country's roads. Wherever you started your journey, once our cameras are looking at you, we are able to play back what happened when you drive on our way. So technically, the cameras are not the normal CCTV cameras. They are special cameras that have special security features that makes us able to arrest you when you commit these offenses. Commissioner in charge of police administration, Superintendent Dr. Samuel Sasumensa notes, though the police is not out to get offenders, motorists should be vigilant because when they are caught, they will not be spared. The issue is that you don't have to see the physical presence of the policeman on the road before we can enforce traffic rules and regulations. We are, as at now, going to use this type of system to make sure that drivers who for traffic rules and regulations are arrested and prosecuted. For Joy News, I am Hannah Odami.